Thursday. Happy Thursday, beautiful people. I hope you are enjoying this weather, this day. I'm actually having a great morning because I'm still riding high from emceeing uh, just a really special event. And it's kind of, um, it's a small thing, but mm -hmm. it's so great to be back in sure. person with people. After, you know, hosting some virtual events in the last few years, mm -hmm. it is just not the same. And I don't mean just because I'm not in my pajamas from the bottom down. Right. You know, it was so good to be in nice. a room. Um, and it was at um, White Oak kitchen and cocktails mm -hmm. and uh, the mm -hmm. event was for Gateway Center which is um, a homeless shelter located in downtown Atlanta and I got to meet Mayor Andre Dickens who has been such an integral a part of this organization that's Mary Fiorello my first executive producer of Atlanta and company no who hired way. me yeah. yes and that is Jack Harden who is the board chair of this great organization and that my friends is Barry Dupree who overcame addiction and he was just so incredible. Um, he was in a video of talking about how Gateway helped him so much, helped him thrive. Mm -hmm. And um, and it was really cute. Members of, of Gateway, their sure. staff were walking up and hugging him. Yes. And he was like, this is Jonathan. Jonathan saved my life. This is Amanda. Amanda saved my oh. life. Um, if you have some spare change or any little bit and you're looking to give, um, Gateway helps 7,000 individuals a year. Wow. And I'm not just taking them off the streets, but also helping them find sustainable right. housing, right. of course, job training, um, not to mention what they do for, for kids. You know, yeah. it's just such an incredible organization. And we know that this is a, a big problem around the country, especially here. I mean, so anyway, right. I was so proud to, yeah. to MC it. And we had a great night. They raised almost $350,000. Mm -hmm. And um, great. I know, I know. And so anyway, That's amazing. it was so much fun. Right. And um, yeah, I think it's important too that you highlighted that, you know, because I think a lot of people that are struggling to help them you know steps a b c d e and yes F, right like you you need the initial like help but you also need yes. the you know the sustainable housing the and all those things that help yes help you and um i just want to know what the mayor smells like oh he's very he's very nice oh, and he was um well, he's very, he's handsome. He's, he's handsome. very handsome. Very yeah, tall. He and he's very tall. Very tall. Very um, handsome. And he was so. Of course, everybody gathered sure, around. Sure. But he has been a part of this for years. And mm -hmm. it's fun. Jack Harden, the board chair, was saying that when, in 2018 he was listening to him speak, and he was like, right. "That guy should run for mayor." Oh, really? Sure enough, <laughs> wow, he did. And he yeah. won. So um, thank you for what a night. Um, what a night. Thank anybody? You for sure. Can you yeah. also tell everyone quickly? Sorry, sure. we're so seated. It's all good. But Christine is so funny. I mean, we we are alike in some ways, but in other ways, we cannot be more different. Uh, what? What did I do now? No, I'm That's laughing that last night she just like sat down with two other people and now they're best friends and they exchanged phones. They took her home. They did. I mean, so, she makes friends. I mean, it is such a skill. Oh my gosh, that my I'm new so friends. envious of because you just make friends with everyone. It's oh, so well, I was I was getting food lovely. at the very end of the night and then um, September came on by Earth, Wind, and Fire, so uh -huh. I started dancing and these do people saw me dance life? and they said, "Do you want to sit at our table?" That's and I was funny. not very chatty. But then I was like, of course, that is so nice. Well, I ended up being chatty. Sure. And they go, their kids go to my children's school. They live in my neighborhood I mean, and they me. drove me home. So I didn't have to take Uber. <laughs> and they're my new best friends. <laughs> Hi, Caroline and David. <laughs> I can't to David. I know. It's so fun. And she's British, and we were talking about losing the Queen. And sure. anyway, thank you, Kara. But Did now get to some good stories. Did you break into a British accent? Because sometimes when you're around people that have an accent, it's very hard. No, like, to stop I talking Kara, I would never. Because okay, I, I just can't do it. Okay, you sorry, can. That's just me. Do it. Do your cockney. <laughs> no, I won't. Okay. I'll get started there on the first story today. <laughs> yes. Because it's about an APS bus driver. Yes. I know. And we love our bus drivers. Shout out to Miss White. Um, <laughs> Cheryl Preheim actually told this story in a beautiful of a wag suggest you go to 11alive.com and search out this story because it's just she's a phenomenal writer she I is and i was crying she's got the gift was of like, wow it's beautiful gab and words oh, and all of it so beautiful wordsmith if you will but this is about um susan mccaskill susan mccaskill drove an aps school bus on the south side of atlanta for over 22 years i believe 23 24 years well she was forced to retire it left her sad depressed and she was looking for some structure and routine so she bought this sewing machine uh -huh. right before um, the pandemic, 
learned how to sew during the pandemic. Come on. Started making quilts and gifts for family and then extended family. And then she started thinking about those bus babies that she called her own and that Aww. she loved so much. One of those bus babies was Libby. You see right there. She drove Libby from kindergarten to fifth grade. <gasps> Libby says she loved Miss McCaskill too, that she treated her like their own and she loved seeing her every Look day. At that. Libby just went to the University of Michigan and got a special care package on her way from you know who, the lovely Miss McCaskill. Miss McCaskill. Can that, you believe? Okay, first of all, what I can't a, believe that she learned how to sew. The only right. thing I did was make banana bread for my family. Sure. And well, you, you know, and not, nice. well, not really. But and to do something that right. you know, she's so thoughtful so and thoughtful. wanting to remember her little what'd you call them? Bus, bus babies. babies. Yes. I love that. I love that so much. And she said, you know, it brings her so much joy to give, and she's going to keep doing that. So we salute you and thank you for all the time you put in at APS. Yes, mm -hmm. we love that.